Jacques Vaughn is rapidly becoming one of the best coaches in the NBA, turning a dysfunctional New Jersey Nets team into an absolute powerhouse. In this video, I'm going to break down four key tactics the Nets are now using to create this drastic improvement. The first part that needed to change was on the defensive end. The Nets have basically become a switching defense with some insanely complex rules. The issue is when you switch, this creates mismatches, especially on the inside, but Jacques has come up with a brilliant strategy to keep small guards like Kyrie Irving out of the post. Now, this is absolute genius. Pay close attention as Kyrie gets put into a ball screen, which not only gives Brook Lopez a mismatch inside, but a seal towards the basket. This is where the genius takes place as the whole team plays their own version of musical chairs. KD immediately leaves his man to take Lopez. Kyrie tells O'Neal to rotate to Giannis and then Kyrie slides back to the perimeter. Now this chess piece was no fluke and it happens if you watch close enough all of the time and it can actually even get more complex. So here Kyrie is screened by Kevin Love. Durant immediately blows up the play by taking Love. Royce O'Neal then takes KD's man and Kyrie is able to slide back out to the perimeter. So part of the rule is the Nets switch anything and everything on the ball and absolutely nothing off of the ball. I noticed a ton of high level communication on this play right here. First we get a switch onto John Collins. Look at Nick Claxton yelling at Kyrie to push out. Claxton rotates over to Collins. Watanabe slides down to take Claxton's and the Nets get a critical stop in a clutch situation. Here is where we see the defensive rules applied once again with a horn set with a double screen on the top. Reminder, the Nets do not switch anything off of the ball. They also like to stay in gaps, which allows them to help on a drive and then they can quickly recover because of their speed and length. So Durant, who is camping in the gap, can help and then he is forced to close out hard as a result. Claxton then rotates down. Katie just swaps to the top and Nets fans are happier than a gothic girl being carried off by a flock of ravens. This style of defense is disrupting offensive flow and is so aggressive on the ball, which has been now forcing a ton of turnovers. During this run, they are actually now top 10 in turnovers forced and second in fast breaks, which leads me to my next point. The real move comes to the adjustment in the half court. With Katie and Kyrie on the floor this season, the Nets are scoring a whopping 105 points per 100 half court possessions, which is no surprise as tops in the league. And I discovered a few things that I really like. First, the Nets like to run this staggered set where they can hit KD on curls to get him in his favorite spot on the floor, the elbow. Now, the best thing about running the same action repeatedly is the defense thinks that they have you all figured out. And then as I like to tell my teams, break a play to make a play. Look at Collins yelling at his team, hey, I think I know the staggered set play. So Simmons takes full advantage and makes him look silly. Now, what else makes their half court offense OP? Check out KD's gravitational pull. Notice the defense sucked in and can't take their eyes off of Durant. Claxton wisely sneaks behind his man and KD throws an absolute dot. A common problem has been teams blitzing KD and Kyrie and it can sometimes hurt their offense as you can see here. None of the other role players are quite able to create their own shot and then when Kyrie finally gets the ball back there's not a lot of time on the shot clock. So Jacques Vaughn once again has come up with a creative way to solve this problem using the two superstars as screeners, something I like to call the 7-11 screen. Defense has to pick their poison with who to defend. So in this situation here with the screen, the Hornets chose not to let Durant beat them. Thor and Rozier attempted to trap Durant and he easily throws the pass over the top with that long reach instead of to the big, this time it goes to Kyrie Irving. This time the Nets run KD as the screener instead of Kyrie and they end up with exactly the same result. Now KD is shooting 55% on pull-ups. This threat coming off of the screen has actually opened up a ton of backdoor options. Look at how defenders are forced to overplay KD so tight so he can't get it in that elbow spot and this opens up a beautiful backdoor lane for him. Ben Simmons, you must have been subscribed to this channel because you heard me say it a million times when you want to get your guy to go back door simply dribble to him that is something I always tell the players I coach is really good unspoken language just dribble to the person you want to cut back door now Yuta Watanabe likely deserves to have his own video on everything he is adding and this might be the only play that will actually lead to beating this Nets defense 